Anyways, though, I got my first star. And I'm not far from Donkey Kong either. I'm only one coin down. So let's see if I can hold on to this lead enough to win this game. Okay, the next star is down there. Might have a little trouble getting that star. I don't know how exactly you're supposed to get there. Do I dare buy an item? See, some of the other items you can get, um, Mini Mega Hammer, this can, uh, make one of the other characters, or yourself, Mini or Mega, depending on a roulette. This is, a uh, Swap, um, I can't read what it says, so I think it says Swap Card. Yeah, Swap Card. It, um, switches items between players. And this is, a Super Mini Mushroom. Um, those are mini mushrooms with two dice blocks. And there's also a super mega mushroom which has three dice blocks. I'm trying to figure out where I should go. Let's see. View map. We're good. What's down here? Okay, this is exactly where I need to be. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually near a second star. And there is no way Peach can get there in time. But she'll get quite a bit of coins, though. And she got a star from a happening spit block. A hap uh, not happening block. Um, hidden block. Yes, just like in Mario Party 2 and Mario Party 3, they, they are totally random. And they can give you quite a boost in your standings, so... Beware. They are, they are always in play. Uh, this next game is called Paratrooper Plunge. Paratrooper Plunge. Uh, there is no winner of this game, it just depends on how many coins you can collect. Kind of like the old games of uh, Castaway, Coin Block Blitz, and all those other great games where there is really no winner, it's just a coin grabathon. Okay. Also, if you hit the enemies in the middle of the or in the play of the arena, uh, your balloon gets smaller. If you keep getting hit enough times, your balloon will pop and you'll fall, and won't be able to collect any more coins. It can be very annoying, so make sure you stay alive as much as you can. And I couldn't get that last coin. Mario got the most coins, but I came up right behind him with the 15, so that's pretty good. That'll put me in the lead as the biggest minigame winner so far, so that's pretty cool. There goes Donkey Kong, unable to make very much of a difference in this game. At least he's going to help out Mario, though, and take Mario out of that little area. Mario should be thankful, especially after he took DK's coins. I want to make sure my audio is still recording. It is. And Mario's going to get another item, a big mushroom, a mega mushroom this time. Who cares about that though, because I'm going to hit a battle square. Battle game, it's a battle game time. Let's see how much coins it will cost to play. 30 coins, that's nearly all of my coins. The only people who had enough are me. Okay, I get to choose this one, though. I am going to choose, even though I really hate this game, this one. I am not prepared for the lag that will help, uh, that will come with the other one. Okay, Chain Chomp Fever. Avoid the chomp and avoid the fire. That's as simple as this game is. Also, don't fall off the platform. As you can see, the whole platform is barricaded. However, after the chomp makes a few rounds, he will break off pieces of it, so you can actually fall off the stage. Very annoying. I I always seem to fall off whenever I don't realize that there's actually... And I got killed. I lost all those coins. I am no longer going to get that stuff. You can't jump in this game either. I think jumping would have made this game a little easier. Also, if a chomp hits a place where there is no wall, 
he'll turn right around and go for someone else. It's really annoying when there's very few barricades left, and all he's doing is just moving back and forth. Also, I'm pretty sure battle games don't count for your uh, coin star awards. I think they're just uh, there to give you more coins. And DK is the winner. I'm not that bummed about it though because DK was having a bit of a coin shortage. Don't get me wrong, I wanted coins myself, but... Okay, I don't even get any coins. At least I have nine. I have nine coins. That's not too bad. Donkey Kong is 82 though, so that's the new coin record at this time. And Peach is going to try to trade places with me. Kind of a smart move though. Although I don't think she has enough. Does she have enough? No, she's one short. And that just screwed her chances even more. <clears throat> That's going to push me a little closer, though, so that's kind of a good thing that that happened. Okay, I'm with Donkey Kong this time. And Team Treasure Trek. I actually love this minigame. There's two items you need to collect in this maze, and once you collect the items, you and your teammate are supposed to meet up. So you can open them. The two items are a treasure chest and a key. Okay, we're looking for the blue items. Okay, I can't really communicate with my partner, so I, I really hope he goes the right way. Wow, I just saw the thing on screen right now. Well, I have my first treasure already. Let's hope Donkey Kong can get to the other one. Here it is! I'm waiting for him now. Wait, does Peach already have the... No, he doesn't. Where's Donkey Kong going? Okay, he's coming. Where's he going? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he went a different direction. However, we won this minigame. We're both going to get 10 coins. The coin star lead is going to increase to 90-something. Oh, woe is me. So I love getting the coin star at the end of every Mario Party game. Okay, DK, what are you gonna do? Item block? Are you sure? Okay, he's very sure. And Mario's gonna use his item block, or his item. He can't get Donkey Kong though, so that's kind of a waste. I guess he's doing it just so we can, you know, get, go around again really quickly, but it's kind of useless now. The happening space is not going to help him. It's basically just a race between me and Peach. And, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the lot lottery shop again. I only need to get six more coins. Let's see. Try again. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I got an item. Never mind. Here is your mushroom. Ooh, a super mega mushroom. That's a really good item. Unsure if I want to use it just yet, though. To be honest, I'm a little worried about to Peach right now. And I'm getting close to the star, and I don't want to skip the star altogether. Okay, what's she going to do? She's going to go to the lottery shop, get her lottery card. And yes, those lottery cards, they play an important part near the end of the game. They won't do anything right now, but when the final five turns event comes, that's when you'll see what the lottery cards do. Let's see, you get a mini mushroom. That's not going to help you, Peachy. Me and Peachy are on a team. Reversal Bomb. I hate this game. It's not too bad, but here's what you do. There are two... There's conveyor belts laying across this arena. 
and you can change the direction of uh, the conveyor belt by pressing the buttons on your side of the thing. However, the opponents are doing the same thing, so you're going to be like switching between the two areas at the same time. It can get really annoying and really fast-paced. The best way to do this game is to split up the work between uh, your partner and you. However, it can be a little difficult sometimes, so I understand. However, just do your best and you should be able to do this minigame pretty well for the most part. And there we go, we've actually done it, did it perfectly. Not a single bomb hit us. This will give me quite a few coins, it'll give Peach some coins too. But who cares about Peach? We're, we're fighting against Peach right now.